Today's drug is dicyclamine, brand name Bentol. The therapeutic category is that it's an anticholinergic agent. It's also known as an antispasmodic. There is one main indication for this medication, which is irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. Dicyclamine is used to treat abdominal pain associated with IBS. It reduces stomach and intestinal cramping. Dosage form and strength. The medication comes in a capsule, a 10 mg and 20 mg capsule. The medication also comes in an oral solution with a concentration of 10 mg per milliliter. There is also an intramuscular solution that comes in a concentration of 10 mg per 5 milliliters. Dosing by indication. Dosing for IBS-associated abdominal pain in adults. Initiate 20 mg by mouth for up to 4 times daily. It is intended for short-term use of 2 weeks or less. Also recommended for as-needed abdominal pain triggers and stressors. May titrate dose after 1 week up to 40 mg 4 times daily, but greater than 20 mg doses are not recommended. Dosing for IBS-associated abdominal pain in pediatrics. In infants greater than or equal to 6 months and children, initiate between 5 to 10 mg by mouth 3 to 4 times daily, 15 minutes before feeding. In children greater than or equal to 2 years of age, initiate 10 mg by mouth 3 to 4 times daily. In adolescents, initiate between 10 to 20 mg by mouth 3 to 4 times daily for up to 2 weeks. Discontinue if patient is not responding to therapy. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology Acetylcholine is blocked at various parasympathetic sites such as the smooth muscle and various glands and in the central nervous system. Absorption is the oral dose is rapidly absorbed. The metabolism is extensive. The excretion, 80% is in the urine and 8% in feces. The time to peak for the medication, the oral dose peaks within 60 and 90 minutes. The duration of action lasts for up to 4 hours. The half-life elimination in the initial phase is around 1.8 hours, with the terminal phase being undetermined, but it is suggested that it is longer than the initial phase. Special Populations and Considerations Dicyclamine is not to be used in children under 6 months old because of the risk of serious side effects. Avoid use in geriatric population due to Beer's criteria and the anticholinergic effects. Intramuscular injectable is not to be used beyond 2 days, and due to necrosis and pain, experts suggest to avoid use and do not administer intravenously. That medication in that form, the solution form, is for intramuscular use only. Side Effects In greater than 10% of the population, there is dizziness and xerostomia, blurred vision, nausea, and to a lesser extent, there is drowsiness, nervousness, weakness, constipation, abdominal bloating, diarrhea, psychosis, delirium, fatigue, anxiety, loss of strength, and energy. Drug Interactions Antacids will lower the body's absorption of dicyclamine. Potassium is affected by the slowed gut movement caused by dicyclamine. Dicyclamine affects absorption of many drugs, such as levodopa, ketoconazole, digoxin, as well as others. Take those meds two hours prior to using dicyclamine. Other drugs that cause anticholinergic effects, such as atropine, glycopyrrolate, and scoplamine, for example. Caution with drugs that may cause sedative effects. Monitoring Parameters Monitor for the level of anticholinergic effects as well as any GI symptoms. Patient counseling information. Dicyclamine is used to treat gastrointestinal spasms and irritable bowel syndrome. If using antacids, separate the two. For example, take dicyclamine before meals and the antacid after meals. Dicyclamine may be taken with or without food.